welcome or welcome back to Made by Amanda Mao. I'm Amanda and I make stuff. I am a crochet artist and I make amigurumi plushie type items and I sell them online and at market events. And I have a market event coming up. I have a Valentine's Day market in about a week. However, I leave for a work trip for my full-time job in one day. And then the market is the day after I get back from the work trip. So this past week was really my last big prep week. And today will hopefully be my last big prep day. I'm gonna try to get all my tagging done today, figure out all my display, everything like that. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. If you saw my last video, that was everything I had made prior to this week and then I'll show you guys what I've made since then and then show you how I do on my price tagging, figure out my display, all those things and I will have a video after this where I'll show you everything I do end up bringing to the market, how much I sell all those items for and then a breakdown of how I did at that market, what sold, what didn't, how much I made, all those good things. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of that and I guess we'll get started. So this week was kind of a crazy week. I tried to get as much prep done as possible, make as many things as I could. I actually did end up making pretty much everything I wanted to make. I didn't end up making any more different kinds of birds. If you saw my last video, I was struggling with the fact that I felt like I had a lot of different birds in my inventory currently. Um, I was gonna make some penguins, but the thing I'm worried about now is I don't have a lot of space for this event. I only have a six foot space, it's an indoor event. And I made a lot of stuff and I made a lot of different kind of stuff. So I'm getting nervous about figuring that all out. Hopefully we'll figure that out later in this video. So I'll show you guys what I made since my video last week. Starting with another chicken, I made another Maybell chicken and I think I have four in to total that I'll be bringing. Next, I made two more Pokeballs, so I think I also have four in total of these guys. I also made two more bees, these regular bees. I made three more mushrooms, one in green, one in red, and one in pink. These are a pretty good seller for me, so I tried to make as many as I could. I made two more Triceratops, one in gray and then one in this cute teal color. This is my first time bringing Triceratops, so I hope they sell well for me. I know a lot of people have a lot of success with those. I made three more axolotls. I have two in pink and two in this teal color. Um, I don't know how many I have in total of these, so stay tuned for my next video for that. I made one more possum. I made two more eagles. I made one blue turtle. I made a heart that will eventually be sewn onto a leggy frog. And I made a ton of chicken nuggets. I made so many chicken nuggets. I actually made more than this. I think this is like seven. So I'm pretty much done crocheting, I think, for the event. The only thing I did not prep yet is my leggy frogs because I strategically decided that that is what I will be crocheting on the plane when I go to my work trip. Um, I'm gonna bring some some green yarn and crochet leggy frogs on the plane and I decided on the leggy frogs because I was thinking of something that I could fully make and complete and I wouldn't have to like stuff it before I like finish it off if that made sense. So with leggy frogs I can make the whole thing literally cut the yarn and just leave that that long yarn tail and stuff them when I get back and then just whip stitch them closed. So I feel like that will save the most space in my suitcase. I don't know where I'm gonna be fitting a bunch of leggy frogs that I make on the plane, but that's a later problem. So now we're going to move on to my favorite part, which is figuring out my display. I love figuring out my display. It's like a fun little puzzle, even though I'm very stressed about it because like I said, I don't know how much space I'm gonna have on the six foot table space area so let's go see how that goes so when i'm figuring out my display this is what i do i literally just bring the tables in my house and i set them up um obviously i will have like tablecloths and these will look nice when they're actually at the market maybe i'll do like a little market vlog like clip when i get there so you guys can see what it will end up looking like but this is how I figured out. I set these up in here and I have 
on my display stuff. I actually got some new display stuff. I have some like, Valentine's Day baskets that I might use for like some display stuff. And I also just got this like little tiered thing. I got it on sale at, um, where did I get this? Either, no, it was Hobby Lobby. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I think I'm gonna put all of my birds on here. It was like 40 or 50% off. I got it for like 20 bucks, which I don't think is, is that bad at all. So I'm excited to use this and hopefully everything fits. We shall see. I have a general idea of what I would like it to look like. So let's figure it out. I really like these like tiered shelves. These are like tiered shelves that I got on Amazon for like not that much money and they like fold up when you're done with them. Um, I will link, I'll link all this stuff. Well, the stuff that I know where I got it. I'll link all that in the description below, but would definitely recommend these. I enjoy them. Okay, I'm just gonna start arranging and putting some things on here and see how things go. I always put my nuggets in this, these little um, like food containers I got from the dollar store and I put some like parchment paper. I will have a nice clean piece of parchment paper for the market, but I put that in here like this and then I like all these in here and I arrange them. I think I'm gonna start with like the Valentine's Day stuff so I make sure that we have a good display area for those. market I lost the piece that like stood this up so You just have to like trust the process, okay?
Okay, my greatest fear is coming true. I am realizing that I have a lot of stuff and not a lot of table space. So, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with all that. I'd like to put my beads in this little thing to be mine. Here's the one. I'm just conflicted about the Valentine area. I don't know what to do with this space. Oh, I also have... I also have these roses and vases. Like, where is this going? It's just so much. dragon so much and he's not really vibing with the valentine area maybe i'll just put him somewhere else but part of me is tempted to not even sell him because i'm really emotionally attached to him uh, this always happens see like i have this i don't know if you could see but i have this like gap spot for here i don't know what to put there because I like this being the Valentine's Day section, but I also still have things that don't have a spot. So maybe I should actually, maybe I'll put the bees in there. Like that. Maybe you can't even see them. Uh, no, the bees are staying out. They're staying out. Maybe I don't need to like stack this stuff. Maybe we'll just have that stuff up there. And this stuff down here. Okay, I like what we have going on so far. Here's the Valentine area right here. It's the Valentine's Day stuff. But we have this big open space in front of it. And I'm just not sure what to put there. I still don't have a spot for my dinos or or the Pokeballs. I have no idea where the Pokeballs are going. Okay. I'm definitely liking the arrangement. I just don't have a spot for the Pokeballs. Oh, I saw these known. I'm gonna bring these gnomes. I didn't sell from my last market. I'm gonna check with those. Like, is this overwhelming? I can't tell. I need, like, a basket. Done. 
How's it looking? This is how you tell you gotta do the dad walk. Okay, I like it. I'll give you an up close tour. Okay, so we have our octos, our mushrooms. This is where all our leggy frogs are gonna go. We have these pokeballs and this little thing, our possums. I love you. Our triceratops are down here. Our bees are in the front and center in their little bee mine thing. Love it. Um, I have these turtles over here. Um, and this is the Valentine's Day area. Here's our Valentine's Day turtles and some more Valentine's Day stuff. Cute. And then I just have these random two gnomes just chilling. We got our nuggets, our axolotls, and our birdies on this cute display. Love it. I know everyone says like a vertical, 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 like build your display up, but here's my thing with that. I think it's definitely good in some situations. However, a lot of my sales are coming from kids who grab stuff off of the table and once they have that item in their hand, they like build a connection with that plushie, which I completely relate to because I do the same thing. Like once they build that connection, they need that and they're gonna do whatever they gotta do to walk out of there with, with that item. So I get a lot of sales from kids doing that and like begging their parents to buy them something that they grabbed off of my table. And the thing with the vertical is it's eye level for like some adults, sure, but it's not necessarily eye level or grabbing level for kids. And I know some people are like, well, I don't want little kids grabbing my things. That's hard to get over at first. I remember like when I first started selling at markets, that was like a thing that I was like, oh, but I feel like you get used to it. And like I said, you make a lot of sales that way. So it's just kind of something you have to learn to tolerate and even appreciate in some scenarios. So I like to have a lot of items at like eye level of kids and like grabbing level of kids. And I don't like to go too high with my display. That's just a personal opinion. I don't know. But yeah, that's what we have so far. Like I said, I'll show you in my next big market breakdown video what the final product ends up looking like at the market. So stay tuned for that. But now we're gonna get done some of my price tagging and hopefully break all this down and put it back in the box where it came from, which I'm sure it won't all fit, but okay, let's get, let's get that done. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some price tagging on my items and this is what I use for price tagging. I bought both of these on Amazon. These are little tags and I attach them to my items with these pins. Um, I know some people use string to attach the tags to their items and these actually come with string already on them so you could technically just use this and like tie it around the pins are a little more money than that process like they're a little more expensive than using the string method here are my thoughts on that so i prefer the pins because one it saves time for me um, doing the string, you have to like cut the string, you have to thread the string through all the items and do a little tie tie, whatever. You, like some people might not mind that, but I'd rather spend more money and save more time. I don't know, that's just me. And also I have this fear that one day a kid is gonna come take one of my items, buy one of my items, and they're gonna see like a string tie on it and you know kids like sometimes they're really anxious to like they might like want to get the price tag off right away and i have this fear that they're gonna like try to pull the price tag off if it has a tie on it and pull the whole stitch and that's it the whole thing's ruined that's like a fear of mine i guess that could definitely happen with the pin as well but i just feel like with the pin it's like easier to get on and off like a parent sees that and they're not going to try to like pull it with their teeth or like pull it to get it off they don't need a scissor to get it off it's easier 
to get off that way. So that is my thought process behind that. But if you're somebody who individually tags every single item, I don't know, maybe that would be a little more expensive of a method for you to use the pins, but that's what I like to do. So yeah, now we'll go tag some stuff. Okay guys, so I think that's pretty much it for this market prep video. I got all my tagging done. We figured out my display. I'm feeling very productive. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Um, I still have to do all my inventory tracking in Square, so I'm gonna go set that up. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. If so, I can include that in the next market prep video or maybe do a separate video on how to do that. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see and stay tuned for my market breakdown video to see what I end up bringing to this market and how I end up doing. Hopefully I do well and yeah, until then I'll see you guys next time.